So I've got here with me Total Wax's Hybrid Solution Ceramic and Graphene Paste Wax, which is a little bit of a mouthful today. So I have been really excited to use this product. I am quite a big fan of paste waxes. So I'm going to be showing you how I'm getting on with it so far, the application method and the water behaviour too. So Turtle Wax did very kindly send this product, but as always, you will be getting my honest opinion in the same way you would as if I had bought the product myself. So you are looking at £30 at the time of making this video for this tub. So that is reasonably expensive starting price. However, as you'll see in the application process, you really don't need that much of it. And it is a pretty hefty tub. So cost per application is quite low, but of course the initial price is reasonably high. So I haven't found too much information on the durability of this product. When you look on the website and on the tub, it doesn't really tell you anything. However, I looked through the frequently asked questions on the website and the, one of the Turtle Wax experts replied saying to expect around 12 months, which is a long, long time for a wax. So I will be looking at monitoring the durability of the product as we go through the next sort of few months. With any kind of protection product, preparing the surface really well is going to make sure that the product lasts as long as possible, particularly if you're expecting durability claims of that long. So that involves claying and polishing and then following up with a panel wipe solution. Of course, so a lot of people watching this video and myself included don't want to do that every single time they apply a wax to the car. So in order to provide a little bit more information for different people, I've split this car up. So what I've done is for the whole vehicle, I have washed it with the Garage Therapy Decontamination Shampoo to remove any old protection on there. So there wasn't anything really on there anyway, but this made sure that there was definitely nothing. I also used Built Hamber Cleanser Fluid, which is good at preparing the surface for applying a wax. But in order to prepare some of the car as best as possible and get the most out of the product, what I did was split the bonnet in half and also did the same to one of the front wings. I basically clayed it using the soft built hamber clay. I then used Shawl S40 polish on my DA polisher and then followed it up with that cleanser fluid as well. So on those sections, I am expecting it to last a bit longer than on the sections that were just washed using the decon shampoo and using the cleanser fluid. So what I'm gonna do now is jump into the application so you can see just how easy this product was to actually apply. So the first thing that I noticed when I opened up the tub and started to apply the product was that it does have a nice scent. There's a tinge of sort of solventy scent to it, but generally it is one of the better smelling waxes I have used. So it is quite a hard wax and that's something you notice when you actually try to apply it to the applicator. You need to coat it in a decent layer to be able to get even coverage. It's not particularly oily, so a little does go a long way, but there are products that spread slightly easier in my opinion. With it being quite a hard wax, I think it's pretty hard to actually apply too much of the product, making it quite user friendly when it comes to buffing it off. It's rare that you come across a time where you've probably applied a layer that's too thick. I had to try on one of the sections to over apply it just to see what it was like and how it responded when buffing it off. So as you can see here, you really don't need much of the product to coat the entire car. This is what the wax looked like at the end of the application process for this vehicle. So they recommend leaving the product for two to five minutes before buffing it off. It was around 12 degrees and fairly moderate humidity when I was applying the product. So five minutes was about right. It's one of the easiest waxes I have used in terms of removal. One swipe with a decent short pile microfiber towel is enough with this product. It's not hard to use at all. I actually tried to leave one section on there for 15 minutes and that was a section where I applied a reasonably thick layer of the product. And even after 15 minutes, it was still easy to buff off. A tiny bit grabby, but, but considering I tripled the time that you're supposed to leave it on there for and applied it in a thick layer, I was really happy with how easy it was to use. The product also felt really quite slick on the panel afterwards. I prefer products that have this slickness as it does tend to mean they attract less dust and dirt and are a bit easier to clean. Here are a few shots of the finish as well. Now the lighting does dictate a lot of how sort of glossy a car looks. So I've got a few shots here so you can see it in sort of good and bad lighting. And I think the gloss does look good. Did it completely transform the car? No, I wouldn't say so. It's not the best colour for it and the paintwork isn't in bad condition anyway. Potentially on a darker colour with sort of more scratched and soiled paintwork, you might notice a bigger difference. So looking at the water behaviour of any new wax is usually my favourite bit, so I was quite excited to see how it got on. What I've done is left the car for 24 hours after applying the product, just to make sure the wax had enough time to cure properly. And then I'm going to show you now what happened when I sprayed water on there using a few different spray patterns. So I wanted to start off by showing you what the water behaviour looked like when I was using a pressure washer. 
and you can see here that the wax is really really hydrophobic When it comes to sheeting the water as well, it does sheet it incredibly rapidly and evenly, which is usually what I look for in terms of water behaviour rather than the beading. I also used another spray pattern here just to simulate as much as I could what rainfall would look like. So this is quite heavy so the water behaviour is going to look probably a bit stronger than it would when it's actually raining. But you can see a few shots of it here which is when it actually did rain and what the beads look like on the car. So it's so far so good for me with this wax. I didn't have any issues with the application, thought it was quite an easy product to use. And I was very impressed with the water behaviour. The real test really is how long this product actually lasts. So what I'm going to be doing is monitoring this over the next few months and then when something interesting happens, when there's sort of a development and I start to see the wax degrade, I will provide an update on the product. So if you aren't subscribed already and you do want to see that, then make sure you do subscribe so you don't miss it. If you have enjoyed this video, it would be brilliant if you could drop it a like. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.